2000 plus. Science fiction adventures from the world of tomorrow, the years beyond 2000 AD. The Brooklyn Brain. Joe, I want to thank you for a very nice evening. The pleasure was all mine, Clarice. I always read the Handy Hints for Mental Health column. It's written by a psychologist. From such pursuits, I have learned that culture is what counts in life or marriage. The partners have to have a, a mental affinity for each other. Mental? You have paid me a very high honor by asking me to be your wife. But I can't say yes. of a human voice reading facts, figures to anything, and transforms it from sound waves into electrical waves. Then, through electrodes attached to a human head, charging that brain with the waves so that automatically the person getting the electrical shock has information charged into his memory. We have boom to education. People won't have to go to school anymore. Your brainwave machine will just charge their brains with anything they want to know. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of experimenting we have yet to do, but uh, so far as we can know up to this moment, the machine should work, uh, I hope. Now, uh, whom are you going to try it on? Yes, whom? Well, we'll, uh, we'll run an ad. We'll try to find someone, not too bright, but uh, someone we can try to transform into a mental giant. Now, Mr. Martin, you just lie down here on this surgical table. Surgical table? Uh, I didn't come for an operation. I came for an education. Oh, and you shall get one, my boy. You shall get one. After today, you'll be an expert on art. You know, painting and sculpture and all that sort of thing. Lie down. You have the knowledge impressed into your mind. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I just remember I got another appointment. Oh, no, 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 Mr. No. Martin, in your letter you said you wanted to show your girl that you could uh, learn things. Be smart. Get culture? Uh, where do I put my head? Here or there? Uh, your head up here, your feet down there. <laughs> splendid, splendid. Now, uh, Carl, attach the electrodes to his head, will you? Yes, Professor. Oh, well, the height, you will never know what hits you. I mean, no, not at all, not at all. Just uh, relax, Mr. Martin. Now, the that's enough, that's enough, Carl. Uh, shut up the equipment. He uh, is alive, isn't he? I, uh, I think we should. Is, is it over? Yes, that's all for today. And I, and I got culture. So far as we know, everything seemed to work. I got a headache, so... Oh, excuse me, there's the doorbell. Our company? It's probably Joe. Now, Sam, don't you and Joe start anything. Hello, Clarice. Come in, Joe. Read any good books lately, Joe? Well, we're taking inventory at the store, and I, I've been kind of busy. Yeah, Joe works very hard. A hard head? You gotta work hard, eh, Joe? The only reason you got a soft head is you got so much hair on it, it's like a mattress. But, uh, Clarice says it's artistic. Clarice says... Did you say that? And, uh, speaking of artists, Joe, what do you think of the new secular school of impressionistic painting? Well, I... Do you think the dynamism of the blues is more effective than the interpretive qualities of the vibrant yellows? You want to know what I think about the new circular school of impressionistic paintings? I'll tell you. I think the first work of Figaro is infinitely superior to the technique of Martinelli. Let me ask you a few questions. Why does Gregory Thompson, a British impressionist, conceive all legendary characters in his paintings as cubistic? I don't know. Now, let me tell you something else. The important news in art circles is the recrudescence of 19th century painting with particular emphasis on the portraiture of that period. In fact, I think I will go myself tomorrow to the Art Institute and just look at that 19th century stuff. Now, 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 Mr. Martin, please don't be so nervous. Just answer my questions. But she's my girl. I'm, I'm finally making progress, and this has to happen. Yes, uh, Carl, put on the recording again. Let Mr. Martin hear it. Yes, sir. Martin, now we're getting started. Well, I'm going to be exposed to the circular school of impressionistic 
and Mr. Darrell and Mark Kelly are perhaps the best known. Another school which has managed to retain some influence on contemporary trends despite the vigorous onslaught of the Impressionists. Well, now, you remember that, don't you? I don't remember it and I don't understand it. But we charged your brain with that information. You charged it, you tried to collect it. I don't know where it is. Um, Carl, I'd like to talk to you alone for a moment. Excuse us, Mr. Buffett. Uh, you're, uh, you're sure the machine worked properly when we experimented on it? When I dismantled the machine this morning, everything was perfect. But what could have happened? Apparently, it makes only a brief impression on the brain about 24 to 36 hours. Oh, that's terrible. What's terrible about it? At least we're on the right track. In a year or two, we'll perfect it so people can remember all the time. People! People can learn things even if we don't perfect the machine. But what I most regret is... There's no longer a dog in the whole world who knows the Einstein theory. I'm sorry, Mr. Barton, but obviously the experiment wasn't as successful as we had hoped it would be. Well, then give it to me again. Professor, I just gotta know about art. 